catch. Um, you have she who grants wishes, Alice, wish, desires, hopes. So definitely a month for manifesting for you guys. So anything you want can come true. Anything you put out into the universe can come back tenfold. So, um, you know, just absolutely a great month for manifesting what you want. Really speaking out loud, really talking about it, really putting your dreams out there, really figuring out what it is that you want and discussing it with the universe. Some people are really good at that and do it all the time. And some people never do it. And then if you start, you'll start to realize how sometimes things um, come towards you that, you know, you've been hoping for for a long time. But once you set the intention, uh, you know, you can manifest it. So whether it's new love, whether it's, um, you know, somebody from the past coming back, whatever it is, put it out there and see what happens. The next card you have is your current position coming into the month. You have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is rest, recuperation, and relaxation. So maybe you've been on the mend, um, not necessarily from sickness. Some of you maybe, but more, this is more of a spiritual healing or an emotional healing or a mental healing. Healing. The Four of Swords, again, talks about recuperating from something, but this is on many different levels. It's physical, it's mental, it's emotional, it's spiritual. So some of you maybe have left a situation behind and you're, you're you know, just kind of cleaning house, um, you know, personally and trying to recuperate from maybe, you know, a bad breakup or, or disappointments in a relationship. Whatever it is for you is self-maintenance, self, self, self-help, self, um, you know, taking care of, of yourself and, and making sure, you know, you're, you're staying with the good vibe and not letting the bad vibes in. The next card you have is how you're feeling coming into the month and you have the judgment card. The judgment card is, um, forgiving yourself and forgiving somebody else for past, for things happening in the past. The judgment card talks about, um, you know, and I'm not saying that you did anything wrong. You know, people don't need to get down in the comments and be like, I didn't do anything. This person screwed me over, etc. And I get that. But this is talking about things that maybe you wish you had done differently. Just releasing that type of energy, just understanding that, you know, with the judgment card, there's there's karma involved here. Releasing, you know, bad thoughts and negativity that maybe you're you've still been harboring about somebody. It's acceptance and it's responsibility. It's it's understanding that it takes two to tango and maybe you were treated really poorly, but in the end, you know, did you reciprocate that or did you so it's just it's it's self-reflection and then letting go, releasing any of the what a shoulda couldas or you know any guilt you have about certain things or any guilt this person has or not guilt any any things that this person has done towards you that you've harbored anger this is saying let it go wash your hands of it it's not going to get you anywhere it's just going to make you sick and angry and keep that kind of cloud above your head and right now like i said you're cleaning house the next card you have is your distant past over so the past five ten years could be throughout your childhood and you have the queen of cups the queen of cups is um somebody who's been kind of silent not not necessarily silent she's good at communicating when well she or he i don't apply sex to the guards but um the queen of cups is good at communicating when need need to when in need okay but this is somebody who's been silent so either you have somebody who's coming back from the past and it may not even be your most recent past it could be somebody like a double up like somebody from the recent past and somebody from you know the past past or you know somebody from the past past that you're not even expecting and it could be a friend or or somebody like that as well but the queen of cups talks about um you know somebody who's very intuitive and somebody who's very emotional and very devoted and this is you know the energy that you like to be in because when you're in a relationship you're devoted and you know you love deeply and hard but you also get hurt deeply and hard too sometimes the queen of cups talks about you're ready to go on that emotional roller coaster, if you will. And and some of you are like, oh, I don't want to date and I just want to be single and I don't want to deal with past love, present love. I just don't even want to. But the Queen of Cups says that, you know, a lot of you are at that point where you're realizing it's, it's a big deal to you to have somebody in your life that you can care about and, and be devoted to. But you also want that reciprocating. So it's like you're ready to find that devotion. But the Queen of Cups also, you know, knows when somebody is being truly organically devoted to them or when somebody's full of shit. <laughs> the next card you have is your immediate past over the past few months. And this makes sense. That's why you're ready now. Um, or you're getting to the point where you're ready with the Queen of Cups to come 
forward again to where you're ready to love again or to where maybe you've cut it off in the past you've been recuperating and now you're ready to to come full circle and and find that again because the seven of wands is um like putting a wall up it's a blockage the seven of wands is um uh, priorities, but it's also a defensive state to be in. So this is you saying, you know, no, like I'm not ready to get hurt. I'm not ready to put myself out there. I, I don't want to go back to the past. I don't want to move forward. I just want to, you know, kind of be me and do me. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's actually very healthy. But the seven of wands means the past few months have been very defensive or have been on the fence of, you know, do I let my guard down? Do I not let my guard down? The next card you have is your distant future. So over the next few months, and you have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is that is is the awakening. Okay, the Ace of Wands is the um, you're ready for you know the pleasure again. You're ready for um, this is ig ignition. You're ignited to find passion again, and creativity is flowing, and the feelings are flowing. So it's like your wall came down, or maybe it's coming down piece by piece. It doesn't have to be like somebody with a jackhammer taking it all down at once, but you're like releasing these burdens we talked about with the judgment. You're releasing any anger or angst towards anybody and even towards yourself or whatever you've been harboring, you're just not going to do that anymore. And as you release all of that energy and as you self care and self love, um, you know, this begins to open again, the passion, the, the, you know, wells fill up again. The next card you have is your immediate future. So, and you have a four of pentacles. The four of pentacles is a feeling of holding on to something that may not be good for us or holding on to something and with you guys, this comes across as like your heart. I think, as I said, the wall is coming down slowly, but you may have moments, um, you know, throughout where you're feeling, um, you know, like you want to put the wall back up. You're feeling the insecurities or you're feeling like, you know, people aren't being honest or truthful with you. And the Four of Pentacles is something that, you know, it brings you back to this harboring or that angst. And you're just going to want to watch that because, again, the Four of Pentacles talks about, um, you know, being careful with that don't you know everybody wants you know to be loved even if it's just friendships it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a relationship it can be just you know having family around but um again the, the four of pentacles is a very protective almost greedy like um oh i'm closing up shop i'm, I'm closing up shop again right it's a it's a possessiveness of I don't want to get hurt therefore now I'm I'm locking myself away the next card you have is anything tangible that's going to happen throughout the month and this makes sense this is why so whether this is past or new energy coming in you have the knight of cups the knight of cups is romantic it's dreamy it's whimsical so there's going to be people coming in I do feel like these are new people don't necessarily know that the past is coming back right now because I do feel like you're relinquishing the past a little bit or you're kind of you know like sayonara for now anyways with the past so this may be new people coming in and you're just not sure how to deal with it because you've been spited before or maybe you went through a really tough breakup where there were lies or deceit or whatnot and it's hard sometimes for us to open our heart back up or to feel like loved again or to accept love um, most importantly you need to love yourself but in order to accept love sometimes that's hard and that's why, you know, I said closed up shop. And I think it's because this person's coming in almost like a romantic or somebody who maybe wants to sweep you off your feet or somebody who says all these nice things. And you just have a really hard time believing it just because of, you know, things that you're trying to get over or or past uh, insecurities of dealing with people who maybe didn't treat you the way you needed to be treated. The next card you have is how you're feeling throughout the month. Yeah, I mean, these cards go hand in hand right here because you have the Hermit card, which is Virgo's card. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo placements in your chart. But the Hermit card talks about spiritually, mentally, physically going inward. It's like having a man or woman cave and going in and, and praying or going in and painting or going in and listening to music, whatever it is for you. But the Hermit card talks about finding that inner peace, finding what it is you want internally, and then putting that out into the world, into your manifestations here. But really understanding what it is you want. Are you ready for a new relationship? Can you release the angst of the past right now? Or are you still feeling a little bit like you're hanging on to that? Are you ready to, you know, have you come to the point where you can love yourself? And, and um, you know, again, that's that's huge to be able to love yourself because it's hard to love other people fully if you don't love yourself, right? If you don't have that, um, 
if you don't have that tie emotionally in yourself. So again, the hermit is solitude and, and, and feeling, knowing that you can rely on yourself before moving forward. So you're doing still some soul searching this month on what it is you want, what type of energies you want in your life. Now, the next card you have are your hopes and fears. The hope is that you're successful. The six of wands is success. It's pride. It's achievement. It's feeling good about. So you just, you're looking for something um, Sagittarius that you feel good about, that you feel tried and true, that you feel that, that you can tell that this person's energy is good and that you can trust their energy. That's what you're looking for. You're not asking for, you know, unrealistic things here. You want somebody to truly have an open and honest relationship with. And, you know, you're picturing the success. It will be successful. You're just going to be a little more careful in your selection. The next card you have is your outcome and you have the Eight of Swords. So you're really teetering here a little bit because the Eight of Swords, here you want success and you want to feel open, but then you're, you know, closing a shop, you're holding yourself back. Then you're going within, which is good to get prepared. But then this person comes along very romantic and you're going, Ugh, I'm trapped. I just don't know if I can do it. I just don't know. So some of you really are like, I'll know when it's time. Trust your gut and trust your instinct. Because again, the Eight of Swords is self-imprisonment. The Eight of Swords isn't somebody else keeping you locked up. This is you keeping yourself locked up. Like maybe you're not ready. Maybe you're not ready to let go of the past completely. Maybe you're not ready to move on, um, you know, to the future uh, right away. So there isn't anything here that's urgent. There's nothing that's saying, look, the opportunity is going to be missed. There is no missed opportunities as long as you really have thought about what it is you're doing or what it is you want. See, yes, any of the Eight of Swords again. This is entrapment, like I said, and I love this deck with the Eight of Swords because I always use the same example. This person, nobody's holding a gun to their head at that window. This person could put a shirt on and walk out the front door and be fine, but they're holding themselves over these swords going, there's no way out. There's, there's nowhere to go. There's no way out. I can't, I can't find my way out. I must go, you know, out through these swords. And I was like, no, you're wrong. You don't owe anybody any explanation. So you may even be feeling trapped by somebody in X because maybe somebody's come back and made it clear that they want to, to get back with you and you're feeling like you can't move on because of that because you feel like guilty or release all those feelings because here you have the Wheel of Fortune coming in and the Wheel of Fortune is divine timing. It's unplanned changes. Things are going to happen whether you want them to or not. And I really do feel like the universe this month is going to show you some things to prove to you that you know, the universe has your back and that you're going to get the signs that you need, especially with this trap feeling, but then being released by the wheel of fortune, because that is saying, look, it's divine timing for you. So whatever's supposed to happen is going to happen. And you may be forced into it, you know, and I'm not saying forced into like dating an ex or something, but you may just, it, there may be somebody coming around that really, truly, genuinely wants to get to know you, wants to have something spiced up with you. And you're just going to have to get rid of these swords and, and see what they have to say because you have the Ace of Pentacles here, which I love. So we'll get to that in a second, but this is, you know, choices and options. You have the moon card here. There's confusion still. Now the moon card is Pisces cards. So you could be dealing with the Pisces or have Pisces placement in your chart, but the moon card again is confusion. I don't know which side, which side am I supposed to be on? Am, am I supposed to go back to the past? Am I supposed to go forward without the past? What am I supposed to do here? So it's almost like you're, it's a double-edged sword for you with these eight of swords and the moon card because you're confused. You're not sure what to do. So maybe you're going to have an ex communicating with you and you still love them, but you know that you can't go back. Um, but the, again, the wheel is going to push you in the direction you need to go. I do think that there's going to be some new love for a lot of you because the Ace of Pentacles is coming out here. The Ace of Pentacles is beautiful. This is new opportunities, new beginnings. This is choices, options. Uh, this is potential, big potential. So I think you're good. I think you're good to let go now. That judgment card is this guilt or again, this resentment or whatever you've been holding on to. Now's the time. And I'm telling you, the universe may just push you into it, but it might be less nerve wracking and less anxiety and less depression and all of the above if you just kind of let it sail. It's almost as if you guys want to control control it or, or be in control of the outcome, but you're really not because, you know, we can't be in, in control of other people. So it, it's it's very interesting. I think the universe is going to push you towards something pretty amazing here. 
Um, but you're going to have to be able to let go. You're going to have to be able to say, okay, I'm not trapped with anybody or any situation anymore. Um, you know, a new situation doesn't have to be like the old. So just a lot of um, really raising your vibrations and mentally, you know, lifting yourself up and building yourself up. It's going to be super important this month because you're going to have some options. You're going to have some different, uh, some new, new, fresh, fresh start. For some of you, you really need fresh. It's been so long. There's gray skies and smoke and all this stuff covering certain things. And you just need to air it out. They're telling me to air it out. So, all right. I'll see you soon.